We're lucky we live in a place that we can exercise outside and spend some time together as a family. It's good to bring along some water. I'm parched. Actually, there's water in a stream not far from here. In fact, this whole canyon is a source of city drinking water. It hasn't been treated for drinking, so I'm glad I brought my own. There's a lot of water in that big tank over there. Of course, in an emergency caused by a natural disaster, that water might not make it to my house, or it could be contaminated. Today, we're gonna to talk about using water filters to make water fit to drink. Meet Kurt, a busy dad who's concerned about getting his family prepared for a disaster. And here's Jeff, a public safety official who's an expert on getting ready for the unexpected. Together, they'll find ways to prepare that don't take a lot of time. We've got a few water filters here that I've collected from backpacking and camping trips. It's a good reminder that a lot of the items we purchase for outdoor fun can be helpful in an emergency. But when it comes to cleaning up water that's been contaminated as a result of an emergency, it's best to choose carefully. Viruses and chemicals that can get into drinking water after a disaster will only be removed by filters that are designed to do so. Many filters designed for cleaning water in the backcountry will remove bacteria and microbes but they will allow chemicals and viruses to pass. To clean water during an emergency, you're going to need a filter that will clean out the tiniest of organisms and viruses. These filters will cost much more money. Take 20 minutes to do some research on water filtering. Having water is critical to surviving an emergency. Storing water, of course, is the best, but you can make good use of a water filter. I'll see you next time. Visit kbyutv.org to get your free 20 to Ready Emergency Preparedness Guide.